What's up? Hopefully we don't have sound issues like we did yesterday, but that stuff is out of the daddy man's control. So I do apologize for that. But, uh, you know, there's only so much I can do with my limited technical abilities. By the way, if you're in the Los Angeles area tonight, Earl Skakel will be at the Comedy Store. 12.15 in the main room, otherwise known as the Holtzman spot, the Kennison spot, the Brody spot, the Sam Tripoli spot, and now it's the Skakel spot, baby. Hit that like button, man. Out of control that there's eight people in here on one like. How dare you guys? I am not watching WWE. I am AEW for life. Uh, I don't even know who's wrestling uh, in uh, night one of WrestleMania. But I have seen screenshots of the arena. Looks pretty good, to be honest with you. So, um, for you WWE freaks, um, what are you going to do? Uh, Ross, I might have to have you uh, look. You know, I know when they do AEW shows, they always make one shirt specific for the event. So if they have a cool uh, shirt that's related to you guys, I believe you are in Pittsburgh. Let me know. Doink versus one, two, three, kid. Going to be hard for that one, seeing that they're both dead. But I wouldn't put anything past Triple H whose mentor was Vince McMahon. I still think that Bret Hart uh, and Owen Hart are going to come out from the sky. Be a real swerve, and I don't mean Strickland. I'm going to actually be watching um, Collision tonight. L.A. was next level. I was there for night two. And, uh, you know, I don't like WWE, but I will say their production value is... Pretty impressive. Um, that's where I think AEW is miles upon miles behind them is in the production um, level. You just can't be what a, uh, WWE does. They're just like, it's like comparing Avatar to Porky's. You know, it's just on another level. So, you know, AEW still has some work to do. But they can put on big events. I mean, I wasn't there, but I watched the London All In in London. And that was a, you know, huge event. 80, what, 85,000 people. And I think it was pretty sold out, pretty close. To, I don't think it was a full sellout. But, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to that this year. Of course, they have a lot of interesting matchups, you know. You've got uh, Osprey, Okada, uh, Omega should be back by then. MJF should be back by then. You know, Mercedes Monet, uh, you know, she'll, I hope she wrestles. I mean, I don't know why they signed her if they're not going to wrestle. Uh, you know, because her thing is, she's not very good on the mic. Um, so I would put her in the ring um, and people will get behind her. I mean, the alt comedy scene happened to the east of the comedy store. Oh, I thought one, two, three kid was dead. Are you showing that? Oh, you mean, sh I, I thought you meant dynamite kid. My bad, my bad. It is a busy jacket made by Aviator Nation. Thank you very much. Um, the alt scene happened in like Los Feliz, you know, deep into Hollywood, Eagle Rock. Um, you know, it's... Uh, you know, maybe some rooms in Santa Monica, 
but uh, the comedy store was anything but alt. Um, although I would argue that Roast Battle in the early years was almost an alt show. Like it was so fucking out there and so wacky and so non-mainstream comedy that I think people were really into it. So, which is funny because... I know a lot of alt comics hated the show because they thought it was hacky and just bottom of the barrel humor. And it turns out they were right. But I knew when we got back from Montreal after my season, which was season one, I remember the next week I saw two alt comics in the crowd who I knew hated the show. And that's when it kind of started to change when alt comics who hated the show were now trying to get on it. Because they needed a TV credit. So it is a very busy jacket. Let me just show you the jacket. Busy there. Busy there. Nothing on the back, but you know, you don't really need anything back. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I guess you could say Holtzman's considered an alt comic. Like Brody Stevens was considered an alt comic. Um, Howard Kramer, if you know who, uh, what up, Angelo? If you know who Howard Kramer is, he's pretty legendary in the alternative comedy world. Um, I like the jacket though, it's very cozy. Uh, I'm trying to think, like Patton Oswalt, I guess, even though he's like super famous, would be considered an alt comic. Um, Trying to think who else. I mean, Jeselnik's pretty mainstream, but um, I would say he he almost could slide into the alt world as well. Um, I'm trying to think. Maria Bramford. I mean, Stanhope. I guess you consider somewhat, even though he's very well known and he, you know, he dipped his toes into the uh, the Man Show with Rogan. Uh, I think that. Um, he would be considered an alt comic. Um, well, I don't know if I'm headlining Hackamania. I, I haven't been given that information, unless you've heard different. Are you new to the stream? If you are, welcome. This is a friendly stream here. We talk about anything. But uh, we don't really uh, get into the dabble world, if you will. Um, we can, but I don't really uh, have too much to say about it, I guess. Uh, yeah, oh, thank you, Ross. So, yeah, it's a very sad story. I, I miss my friend Lori Donna very much. She was an awesome person. And, uh, you know. I mean, he's uh, the guy who killed her is in jail, hopefully forever. You got to really feel bad for their baby, Rocco, who I believe is somewhere on the East Coast, being taken care of by, I think, Lori Adana's brother's family, but I'm not sure. They don't really talk to me too much because I didn't really know them, you know, so... Um, yeah, Tripoli, uh, you know, he keeps it real. I just talked to him last night. Uh, we bond over certain subjects that I, I'll let you guys guess which ones. Uh, $300 million Kiss sale. You thought Kiss was aggressive. You know whoever bought their records and, and rights and likenesses, they're going to be pumping Kiss shit out like nobody's business. Good evening, Chris Mack. Vintage gay porn. Uh, Strikers Island. Great, great gay porn prison movie. Um, yeah, I, I think Rocco's kind of a cool name. They're going to have holograms. They're going to have TV shows. They're going to have movies, coffee houses. I mean, someone bought $300 million uh, sale. So they're going to want their money uh, back and profit. So you're going to see more Kiss t-shirts than you've ever had. Uh, you know, I meant you and Tripoli bond over gay porn. Oh, no, no, not, uh, no, we don't. 
You might see Kissborn, John Doe in the house. We got a small group in here tonight, but you know, that's all right. I got a spot at the comedy store, 12. 15. Grimace and Payne, one of the regulars. This is like a bar. You know, you guys are just chilling. And I'm the bartender. Um, I'll be at the comedy store tonight, 1215. I'll be at Hackamania. Uh, now, a lot of people um, are like, well, if you don't like the Dabbleverse, how come you're doing Hackamania? Which is, I guess you could say, almost a Dabbleverse event. Uh, with Carl's involvement. Um, but I'm a comic. I go where the shows are. I, you know, made it known that I will not be participating in any bashing of Stuttering John or whoever, man. It's just not my bag. Uh, well, that might be one of the first um, signs of how you'll see Kiss more in the mainstream media. Uh, many more in movies, TV shows. I mean, that, well, commercials. They're going to be licensing that shit till I'm long gone. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Um, I don't hate on Gene and Paul. I'm 300 million. I mean, they've worked their asses off for 50 years. Um, so yeah, Tukey, uh, get to yeah. I don't do guests on this, and I don't know. Uh, I don't really follow that world, so I I know. I've heard the name Tukey a lot, but I, you know, I don't, I wouldn't have any idea what one question to Tukey would be like. So, but he's popular online. I mean, you know, we got 16 people in this stream and I think he, he had like 700 people in his stream. I saw the other night, you know, I got a notification for it. Uh, I would love to have 700 people in here. Uh, well, that was a uh, inappropriate Earl podcast uh, that I put up on YouTube. Uh, I don't have guests on streams, is what I meant to say. Um, the guy uh, who I had on was uh, Matt Berry. He's uh, very he's an elite casting director and uh, a huge hockey fan, and he released a music album. So we had a lot to talk about. But uh, I'm talking on streams. I want to make this stream different. There's no stream sniping. There's no guests. There's no bad mouthing other shows. If I want to bad mouth you, I'll say it to your face. Uh, uh, you know, Dr. Nova, you're out of control right now. Uh, no, it's all good, uh, John Doe. I. Uh, you know, I, I have no problem talking, as I can barely get that out for an hour by myself without sniping people. So um, I'm very, although I wish the numbers were better, I'm very happy with this stream and how it, uh, how it goes. You know, it's nice, mellow, it's easy breezy. It's not a two to three hour stream where I'm begging for money. You know, like like William Zoom said, I'm the bartender. If you like what you hear, tip me. If not, you know, uh, I don't know, put the link in Discords or on Reddit. I mean, there's many ways you can contribute to a stream without it being financial. So um, you'll never hear me asking for money, honey. Now we got a big game tonight in Los Angeles. The LA Kings take on um, you know what this means. The LA Kings take on the Vancouver Canucks. But before we talk hockey, we have our first super chat of the evening. Peter Chicken Man Brennan. You think Tripoli invites Stuttering John to chaos this year? <laughs> Uh, you know, Tripoli is a provocateur. So I could see Sam doing that. Um, you know, it's funny, I'm getting these Tripoli questions where we had a nice phone call last night about various things. But um, 
I love Kevin. I, I think uh, going down to ACDC, I think Kevin's the funniest comic in our world. Or I, I'm not in the world. I'm, I guess you'd say Dabble versus Jason. But um, I do think that, I mean, I could understand why he's grabbing for money because he's got people willing to give it to him. I mean, I was watching Adam's uh, show last night or yesterday, you know, the MLC, Adam Henniker, uh last show in terms of a, a regular producer because he's got a new job. And my God, people are just throwing money left and right. I mean, I, I don't know how much he made and I don't care, but I would guess easily over a thousand dollars. How much did I make in my stream yesterday? I'll be honest with you guys. And you guys can look it up. So it's not like I can lie about it. $14. But you know what? That's $14 more than what I had before I started. Now we did have some technical difficulties. Um, but well, I understand though why, you know, Kevin and, and Chad specifically, it's pro wrestling. So you know, I remember when I was the judge on the Ray Chad roast, you know, and, and at the end, Ray and Chad were kind of getting along because you do bond with someone when you do a roast battle because it is hard. You know exactly what the other person's feeling in terms of nerves. Then Kevin was like, oh, we can't have you guys getting along. That ruins the show. So, you know, I get it. You know, and Kevin, I think the funny thing to me about Kevin is, I don't think his trolls realize he's trolling them. Um, you know, and what I mean by that is, oh, you want to say I suck? Well, guess what? I'm not going to read it. Five bucks, I'll read it. You want to say my brother's funnier than me? Ten bucks, so I don't read it. And they pay. They gladly pay. Jeff Garland, wow, well, that can't be the real Jeff Garland. The last two MLCs have been eventful. Well, I, haven't, I, I only listened yesterday. I don't know what the second one was about, but, um, you know, I'm glad it was eventful. Oh, I can believe that. Um, Peter Chicken Man Brennan, thank you very much for the $2, as always. Uh, yesterday's MLC made $2,300. Yeah, I mean... I know every time, I mean, I was taking a nap when I was listening to it, but every time I looked at the screen, there was like five or six super chats. I even super chatted $5. Um, so who's your favorite lesbian comic? Drunken Donuts, you're out of control. Let me get my energy drink and then I'll answer that. How do you like my shorts? Um, I don't, well, I don't know who's a lesbian these days. So to be honest with you, I don't really have a favorite lesbian comic. But uh, yeah, I don't know what to say to that one. Peter Chicken Man Brennan coming in hot with the super chats. Peter Chicken Man Brennan, two dollars most likely. I'm gonna see a Rogan or KB Neal show at the store. I'm surprised you didn't put a Skakel Ross show in there. Um, I could see Mencia Rogan. If the, if the situation was right. I don't think uh, you'll ever see, unfortunately, a KB Neal show. Um, there's just no need for it. And I think because the original Rogan Mencia feud started on stage in the original room, it'd be a pretty epic night if those two squashed the beef. But... From what I understand, Mencia still steals jokes, so um, I don't think Joe, I mean, Joe has certainly no need to squash the beef with him. I mean, I could see maybe Mencia begging to get on the Rogan podcast and say, hey, let me, let me, let me make amends on the podcast, but he'd probably just be doing that to get on the podcast, so... Um, 
you ever meet Harvey Weinstein? No, I, I was never, uh, I think I was the wrong gender and definitely the wrong age. But I, I will say this, and I won't say her name because it's not her life anymore, but I have had an inappropriate Earl podcast guest from the past have an experience with Harvey Weinstein. So that you guys are going to have to do a little legwork on that one. It's a teaser. You got to, you know, uh, guess who I'm talking about. It was a while ago. I'll give you that. I'll, I'll give you that. Was the guest Holtzman? Holtzman has never been on the Inappropriate Earl podcast. Waver, did you ever beef the squash? Hello, boing. Um, uh, many a night, many a night, my friend. Um, I, I've asked Holtzman, and now that he's in Austin, I, well, now that he's in Austin, it's probably easier for for us to just do or Zoom and, and do it. So. Uh, who knows? I mean, I do, you know, initially uh, for a very long time, I was resistant to doing um, Zoom podcasts because I like being in the room with the person. But now I really like doing them on Zoom because I could put them up on YouTube. I could put them up on Apple Podcasts. And, uh, you know, but, you know, I do, you know, my one regret Um is that I don't have more of the early inappropriate old podcasts on video because I had some really good interviews back in the day. If you could only put one wrestling character's poster on the wall, who would it be? Um, well, I do have a great uh, over there signed framed poster of the, in a, uh, uh, of the ultimate warrior. It says, Dear Earl, always believe, warrior. So that will, that will be on the wall upstairs at some point, along with the neon sign and maybe a secondary neon sign, Daddy Man. I will be improving the background where you guys don't have to look into my kitchen. But that's another story. Uh, no, I will not put Chris Benoit on my wall, you maniac. By the way, where was the kid's tag team partner? Hello. That's a Skakel classic there. Well, Penguins, uh, you know, they're going to be pretty bad. You know, now they just have Latang, Crosby, Malkin, and uh, Carlson. And, uh, you know, it's just... Um, you know, they just have no prospects. Uh, yes, uh, Kongzilla, four straight ones. I mean, you know, they're going to get killed by Carolina. The Rangers are the real deal. Um, Florida and Tampa, especially Florida, they're the real deal. Um, so uh, I bet George the Animal Steel had a giant hog. Probably not. I mean, I would say if we're going to talk, what wrestlers do I think have big dicks? Um, <laughs> I'd probably say Bad News Allen. He looked like he had a pretty sized pee-pee. Uh, Peter Chicken Man Brennan, favorite in the closet comics. Steve Simone, Tim Dillon, or Taylor Williamson. I'll go off the board and say Tony Falcone. Tony Falcone, great open mic comic. Probably has my favorite open mic comic joke ever where, you know, and he was really gay. Like, I'm going to tell you right now, Tony Falcone was as gay as you could imagine. And he would go out there and he's wearing a fanny pack, really tight jeans, like a, a shirt that's probably literally two sizes too small and go, you know, they say, and he'd find like four guys sitting together, like college buddies or whatever. And he'd be like, you know, they say uh, one out of every four guys is gay. One, two, three. Hello! Um, I think he's dead now. So rest in peace, Tony Falcone. I mean, the Bruins, you know, they got a, you know, they got Allmark and Gall with Swayman. You know, I think Maroon's going to be huge in the playoffs for them. 
uh, Tony Hinchcliffe, I don't know what that's referring to. Andre the Giant had a schlong, I'll bet. I mean, it wasn't small, probably. Yeah, Dr. Nova knows what time it is. I mean, my favorite old school open mic comics, when I first started up there, and I realized that most of you aren't going to know any of these names, except for Dr. Nova um, and uh, Peter Chicken Man Brennan. I, I, well, I don't think he died of AIDS, but I don't know, to be honest with you. Last time I saw something on him, he was doing like dinner theater in Florida or something. Um, but, you know, Tony Falcone, Peter Chin, um, Blue Iris, Dagmar, Scotty Barron, uh, Crispy Chicken, Mickey. I mean, there were some freaks up there. Earl, were you a fan of the Chappelle show? I never watched it, to be honest with you. Um, but someone sent me a picture of him at, in like a dinner theater poster or something. Uh, I mean, he was not very funny, to be honest with you. But, you know, I think he was a guy that didn't, you know, he was just doing comedy to be around people. Uh, Bert tops off. You know, I, I'm friends with Bert. We're not like best friends or anything, but he did mention me a couple times on Rogan and uh, I believe on Two Bears when him and Segura were talking about comics they wouldn't want to fight, and I was one of them. Of course, I would uh, rather be having my comedy talked about other than my physical ability to kick ass. Uh, but, I mean, if you look at the East, in the East bracket, you've got, I mean, these are teams with legit shots to win the Cup. The Bruins, the Panthers, Lightning probably have a an okay chance of, you know, kicking the can one last time with this group. And, um, you know, Carolina, you know, especially with Gensel tearing it up. Uh, the Rangers, um, you know, I mean, those five, any one of those five teams could win the Cup. Toronto. You know, they, you know if they if they just put together a streak like the Kings did in '93, where you know that Kings team in '93, I think they were only like four games over 500, barely got into the playoffs, and then got to the Stanley Cup Finals. Um, yeah, I mean, Party Pete, 100, uh, Minnie Dean, uh, Big Rod. I mean, it was a real who's who of who isn't at the uh, comedy store in the early 2000s. Um, uh, no face, you know, a guy who tried to kill himself. He blew half his face off, but he survived. Uh, I don't know what happened to Artie Lang, you know. You know, I, I would imagine with each year he gets older, he feels worse. I mean, each year I get older, I feel like my body breaks down and I'm in shape. Like I'm 55. I think me and Artie Lang are probably about the same age. And I take pristine care of my insides. He does not. So I can only imagine he feels like shit. Um, you know, I don't know SC. I, I, I don't know enough about Howie Mandel as a comic. I mean, I'm assuming he's good. He makes a lot of money doing it. And I've never met him. I mean, I might have been in the same room with him at the store for a second, but I don't recall meeting him. I mean, but I work out every day. I do yoga a couple times a week, weights, tons of cardio, tons of walks with, you know, when I have Lois, especially, um, you know, and I make I, my last checkup, the doctor said, dude, you literally have the insides of a 20 year old. I've, I've never had a cigarette, never had a drug, never had a drink. Um, and you know, so you, can you imagine what Artie Lang, if I feel bad, can you imagine? He's probably 50 to 100 pounds overweight. You know, all the coke he's done and whatever else he does, like, it's a, it's a miracle. But then you have someone like Keith Richards, who's, what, in his late 70s? And, you know, he looks like he's enjoying life. Oh, dude, when I get out of bed... Uh, I, I feel like that one scene in North Dallas 40 where Nick Nolte gets out of bed and everything's cracking. Uh, damn, Dr. Nova, Mini Dean, you, <laughs> that's a funny line. Um, so it's kind of like Trump's face, man. Man, Trump is aging fast. Like he got a turkey neck like you wouldn't believe. Gobble, gobble. Um, but, you know, even if you take care of yourself in pristine condition. You're going to feel, I mean, like, I can't take any better 
care of myself internally than I do. And I woke up today barely able to get out of bed. Um, the great Ryan O'Neill. I mean, Biden looks pretty good for 80. Now, I don't feel comfortable with him having the fucking nuclear codes. But, you know, if he was my next door neighbor, I'd be like, man, this guy's in great shape. But, you know, I used to do a joke about uh, being the president really ages you. I mean, look at, you know, Ronald Reagan. I mean, he left office after only eight years. He fucking didn't even know his name. And like, you know, Bill Clinton at the end of his run looked like B. Arthur. And, you know, Jesus. Yeah, I mean, you know, when I'm sitting down a lot, you know, your my lower back. That's why I love this chair. It's a lot better than my last chair. It's, it's straight. I can lean back a little bit. My new glasses are pretty good, so I can read the chats. Of course, the super chats are easier to read. Uh, so I got a booger in my eye. I mean, this election is going to be pretty wacky, man. And if Trump doesn't win, uh, let the riots begin. Well, I mean, I, I mean, Trump used to be coherent, but you know, in the last year, he's really gone down cognitively. I think you know he's stuttering now. He never used to stutter. He, he's He's losing his place a lot more in his speeches. But, you know, there's also, you know, he plays it cool. But, you know, the stress of these trials, um, you know, the, what is it, 94 uh, indictments, or not indictments, 94 counts, you know. Um, you know, you know, that's got to be. And, you know, it's, it's draining his money. He doesn't have as many events as he used to because, you know, those events, you know, you just don't get the room for free. Like if you rent out a basketball stadium, you got to pay for it. That's probably a couple hundred grand. You know, security's probably a hundred grand. You know, and you know you're throwing those events. Um, so, you know, he doesn't have that kind of cash anymore, man. He's got to save that hundred grand. Oh shit, we got. Uh, one of the elites in the streaming world, the great Gina Bobina in the house. Peter Chicken Man Brennan, if you had to recommend one comic to showcase for Emily, would it be Ray Boschetti or Barry Rebs? Uh, I mean, <laughs> I know Emily's taste. I don't think any of the three would be on her radar. But if you're, if you're seeing Earl, you have to pick one. Oh boy, that's a tough one. I would say Ray because he's the youngest. Uh, so there you go. Uh, yeah, but that's a billionaire on paper, bro. Um, but yeah, but it's not about being funny, Waver. It's about you know this game. This is a young man's and woman's game. So uh, you know, like, and he can't. You know, I've studied this Drunken Donuts. Um, I think Truth Social, when it went public, it's like $3 billion or something, $2 billion. I saw one account. And he can't sell, even if he sold it all and got that $2 billion, $3 billion, whatever it is, let's say $1 billion. Let's say $1.5 billion. He can't use that money for six months because of the securities. Now, someone in the chat probably is more knowledgeable about that than me, but so right now he does not have the money. So, um, you know, and you know, those lawyers, you know, he's got four trials coming up and I would guess that each set of lawyers is costing him a few million dollars a month. Um, the name sounds familiar, but I don't. Uh, I don't know who that is. Uh, Wild Kennedy doesn't have Secret Service. Well, you know, Secret Service is a lot of money, and I think that 
you know, when you look at, I'm sure the government or whoever is in charge of deciding who gets secret service or not. I mean, 24 seven round the clock protection. It's for someone who's not president and not a serious uh, candidate. I mean, let's be honest. He's got like 7%. He's not going to win. Um, and no, I'm not just saying that because he didn't put me on his comedy show. You know, I don't care who else uh, Gina watches. I only care about the people who are in my stream right now. And I don't care if you watch uh, Shuli, who I'm friends with, full disclosure, MLC, Melton, Chad, Ty Rivera, uh, Ray, Toki. I don't care. Uh, I'm not trying to steal listeners from any of those people. You know? I'm just trying to make my $14 every stream, and then I, I, I call it a day. Kevin made $2,300 yesterday. I'm not jealous. I'm happy for him. I made 14 bitch. Um, so, well, we'll see what happens, Chris. Well, you got well, you got that one guy to pay the hundred and seventy-five million, but you know he's still got to pay a couple other things too. So, I mean, that guy's got a few billion dollars. The guy, the car insurance guy. So, maybe he's out of the weeds. But now that guy, you know, you know, you don't give someone two hundred million dollars and not expect favors. I mean, you know, listen, twenty-seven people in here right now. Do I wish there was a zero at the end of that and there was 270 people? 100%. But, you know, I'm trying to build it. You know, the reality is I've only been monetized for three months. I went into this um, knowing that I'm probably the first year not going to be rich streaming. But I also don't do it as much as everyone else. You know, Kevin does it shit six, seven days a week for two, three hours a time. I, I just, I don't have any interest in doing that. Now, could I do that if I was talking shit about everyone? 100%. But it's just not my thing, man. Like I said, if anyone wants to say anything bad to me, come to Hackamania. Say it to my face. And not so I can fight you, but just like, I don't do the online roasting. You don't think I realize if I did, there probably would be a zero at the end of that 29 and people would be super chatting me. Hey, talk shit about Kevin. Talk shit about, you know, Melton, win by two, Chad. It's, I'm good, man. I'm going to make about 500 bucks tonight at the comedy store doing an hour of comedy. I'm happy with that. That's my Patreon. That's my, you know, my super chat money, I guess. I mean, I don't really, uh, well, I don't shit talk. I, I tell the truth, which is why, um, you know, you rarely see people come for me online because, you know, I speak the truth and, uh, you know, you really can't argue the truth. So, um, that's how I do it. Lost you, Silver Fox. I don't know what that means. Scott Fitzpatrick. Um. That jacket is gay, by the way. Other than that, I like the show. Kongzilla, this is a dope jacket. Trust me on that one. But, you know, listen, if you don't like the jacket, what, what am I going to do? Beg you to like the jacket? Uh, so you and Ray aren't sharing. I'm not sharing a room with anyone in Hackamania. I can tell you that much. Uh, I, I work alone. Oh, shit. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, Ambrose Burnside, $5. Name this episode, Which Wrestlers Have Big Dicks? Hello! <laughs> and thank you, Ambrose, for your, uh, your, don't, your tips yesterday. I appreciate that. Uh, honestly, I don't know how many gay men that would wear that coat. I, however, would. Hello! Uh, I'm not gay, and there's nothing wrong with being gay. I would hesitate that I've been with more women than everyone in this stream combined. But, you know, I, that's, I'm not about adding numbers. 
Um, what up, Luna? Shtick. Fluck the bean. Flick the bean button, you cowards. Uh, you know, I, I, I think I agree with that. We're just having a nice stream. Let me thank the tippers. Thank you, Peter Chicken Man Brennan, Peter Chicken Man Brennan, and Ambrose Burnside. I made nine dollars in forty minutes. Take that, Kevin Brennan. Do you ever meet Caitlyn Jenner? Uh, I don't think so. No, I've never met Caitlyn Jenner. She's a good dude. Hello! That's a Skankle classic there. You know, since you guys have been so good to me, uh, you know, I'll give you this joke on the house. It's a joke I'll be doing tonight. You know, it's, it's relevant with um, baseball season just going on. But, you know, uh, I just bought... MLB 23. Well, I guess there would be an MLB 24 now, but uh, I, I haven't bought that one yet. And, uh, you know, they have a really cool feature where you can take, like, say, the L.A. Dodgers and put them in the Negro League. And you can play against Negro League teams. And, uh, you know, obviously Shohei Otani is the best player in the game right now, best pitcher and um, uh, batter. And, uh, the Negro League had their own Shohei Otani. I forget his name. It wasn't Satchel Page, but it was someone else. And uh, the only difference between him and Shohei Otani, about nine inches. Hello! Uh, yeah, the green enough's enough peace sign. Fly high, Michelle. Um, you know, that's a, that's a Skakel classic there. And let me read you the first joke I wrote this morning when I woke up. I forget Hunter what someone Hunter Smith I think was his name. Let me look that up. Let me check that uh, up. You know, uh, not that the name matters, but uh, Hunter Smith Negro League Negro League. Was it uh, Hilton Smith? Hilton Smith. Oh shit! Hold on. My lost intro interest. My lost interest. Four ninety nine. Doing my part to help promote this channel. Big Skakel fan. Let's go Red Wings. Thank you very much. My lost interest. Big, big Dick Fitzwell. Best better in the game. Thank you very much. My grandpa had a joke. Where do you go when your legs hurt? To Africa. Because that's... All right, I can't do that. Come on, dude. I can't do those jokes in the stream? You got to super chat that one. And I, I don't even know if I'd read it then. Uh, better fashion, Daddy Man, Bobby Lee, Dean Del Rey. It's not even close, man. I mean, come on. Bobby Lee wears uh, T-shirts with mustard on. The fuck out of here. I don't acknowledge Dean Del Rey in this stream. You can only keep one patch on that jacket. Which one would it be? Let me see. I like this one. No, wait. Hold on. The, uh, oh, sorry. The war bat. I like that one. Whoa. Ross Incognito. Time for another Jersey Mike sandwich review. Four ninety nine. You know. Thank you, Ross. Thank you, My Lost Interest. I appreciate that. Uh, I don't care if Kevin uh, snipes us later. I mean, what am I going to do? Like, At some point, you got to go on. I'm not trying to uh, take listeners away from anybody. I don't care uh, who's on right now, to be honest. I'm assuming someone's on. Julie, uh, Ray, uh, you know, Tukey, you know. I don't think Tukey, who gets about 700 people in a stream, cares if I have 28 people in here. 
Um, yeah, I mean, they're all good. I mean, um, that is the Aviator Nation. Here's another one. Uh, it's the logo. It's a koozie. Let me try the koozie. I've never tried this koozie before. I'll give Aviator Nation some uh, cross promotion. There we go. I don't know who Kayla is. So nothing. But see, I don't do that. I'm not going to hold you guys hostage. Give me this amount of money and I'll tell you a story. You know, Pierre Luc Dubois. Big game tonight coming from Pierre Luc Dubois. What's uh, this I've heard in here that you are out of Hackamania? Like, see, that's why I don't like talking about the dabble verse in here because. You guys take it and run with it. Like you clip one. I'm not yelling at you, Sheriff, but I'm just saying like um, what I said was I'm not doing Hackamania at a loss. I am still doing Hackamania. Um, you know, I just, you know, like I said, you know, I, for, I'm driving to Hackamania. Ironically, three days before Hackamania, I'm getting a new car. So... Uh, you know, it will probably, depending on what car I get, probably be a Bronco. That's what I've honed in on now. Um, you know, there to Vegas and back from West Hollywood, it's probably about $200 in gas. Maybe even more. Um, oh, I don't know, uh, Bobby Lee's old girlfriend, to be honest with you. that Maybe that's my key with the Super Chats. Maybe I should just start charging per story. I mean, how many people have gangbang stories in the Dabbleverse? I guarantee you I'm the only one. Trust me on that one. I mean, look at who we're talking about. Uh, most likely to be Whitney Cummings' son's dad. Polly Shore, I don't mention that name in this stream, or Daddy Man. Uh, I mean, I, you know, I, I, I mean, I guess Polly. I mean, I think uh, Polly's done pretty girl, uh, pretty good with girls. Um, so, ooh, how come? What's, uh, I don't know what you're referring to, Gina. So, uh, I am in at Hackamania, which is why I'm promoting it. And you guys can come too. Discount code, I think it's 20% off for Duckett's Earl. Simple as that. I mean, it should be fun, you know. I don't know, Carl. Never met him before. Never talked to him before. Certainly don't know any of his crew. I, I got to say, of all the shows I've watched in the past, um, Carl's the one I've watched the least. Um, it's not a slam on him. I just, you know, I don't know. At some point, you know, I got a fucking life, too. I just can't sit and listen to 50 fucking streams all talking about stuttering John. Food at the Rainbow is top shelf. Uh, you know, that I don't know, Sheriff. That I don't know. Uh, I would not go in that room, Kongzilla. I work alone. I sleep alone. I have odd sleeping habits. I stay up very late at night. You know, usually the comedy shows I do, I'm, I've am i done well on. So, I, um, Oh, how come? Uh, you know, I just have nothing to say about the guy. I mean, we're not really friends. We're just comedy acquaintances. Uh, I mean, I... And, but thank you to Ross Incognito for his 10th Super Chat. Thank you very much. Um, so, well, I mean, Kongzilla, you said it for me. Uh, yeah, I don't watch uh, Bert's Food Show. I'd like to be on it, but I don't want. I don't watch comedy. I don't watch podcasts. I don't listen to podcasts because I never want to hear a question on a podcast. And go, oh, I want to ask my guests that question. Or I never. I, I don't watch comedy, and a lot of people think I'm lying. Like someone asked me the other day in a stream, "Do I think Hinchcliffe is funny?" And I've known Tony for 15 years. I've never seen him do comedy. Like I don't watch stand up, even if I'm on. Like tonight. Um, I, uh, will be getting at the comedy store, I don't know, say 1130. I'm not going to go in the room and watch the three comics before me because I don't want to hear what they're talking about. 
Um, so Jelly Roll, I was sat next to him at the Rainbow Bar, the outdoor patio bar the other night. I guess he had won some big uh, iHeart Radio Awards or something, and he was whooping it up. Most likely to fight Leslie Jones, uh, Neil, Kevin, Christie, or Maz. Um, uh, oh, sorry about that. This is carbonated. My bad. My bad. My bad. Um, I don't know who Leslie feuds with up there. I know a lot of people don't like her running the lights. So, I mean... I don't see any of those three saying something to her. I ha I've i never had a female drop a load on my chest. Thank you, Grant. That's a Cleveland steamer, by the way. Uh, Bert Kreischer has never been funny. I mean, I, bro, obviously he's funny if he's selling out arenas. You know, you can't be unfunny and sell out arenas. Now, I get you might not like his humor, and that, I'm sure people don't like my humor, but when you're selling out arenas all across the world, you're funny. Um, you must have watched Rose Battle. I don't. I haven't watched the Rose Battle in five years, maybe longer since I've been off the show. Which I think I left the show after many, many reasons in 2017. So, um, I will say that, you know, someone sent me a main event the other night, a main event where it was like a door guy against some really untalented uh, female comic. And I don't even, and there's a lot of unfunny male comics too, but this was the main event. Like this wouldn't have even been a warm up battle in my era. So, um, you know, I mean, I, my era was just so much better. There's two people who do it today that are good. Angie Stroud and John Luna, if you follow the roast battle world. Other than that, garbage. Um, and no, that's not me trying to drum up a fight with someone who does it not named John or Angie. I just, none of them would do well uh, against my crew of Tiana, Mike Lawrence, Hinchcliffe, uh, Pat Barker, Doug Fager. They'd get fucking smashed. Uh, he is really nice. I mean, Kurt, uh, Bert is very, very nice. Like one night I had a bunch of Kings there to see me and they wanted to meet Bert too. And he was very gracious, had them all in the green room and like told stories. Um, very, very nice guy. Um, are you a goofy or I'm a goofy foot? I'm a lefty. Uh, what's up with Ty Ochoa dissing on Rogan Penis coming and Kim and Sarah? Uh, can I get that in English, Fitzpatrick? I mean, what, who taught you uh, how to put uh, a sentence together? Shaquille O'Neal? Uh, you know, that's Ty's brand, you know, to be... Uh, I mean, I, I personally don't understand it. Like, he just moved to Austin a year ago. Less, maybe less than a year ago, and now you've, you know, you're going to take on the mothership. You know, you know, someone from the mothership is going to call the creek and the cave and Cap City and all these other clubs and go, hey man, fuck this guy. But you know, I'm sure he thought about that before, and um, you know, you know, like I get it. You know, I could hear Ty telling me right now, well, what about you and Jeff Ross? You talk bad about him all the time, but you know, I. Jeff can't hurt me. You know, there's not one gig I want that he could get me. So, and believe me, I thought about that. Before I did my first podcast where I exposed him and his manager, I thought, okay, what's the worst that can happen to me? And I was more than willing to, to deal with it. Um, but, you know, when you're just moved into Jerry Sandusky, great show. Are you a top or a bottom? Come on, man. You got to super chat me that question. I can't tell you that for free. Peter Chicken Man, Bruno, how much in Super Chats for you to wear your Canada shorts? I threw them away. I threw everything that was given to me uh, from Roast Battle away. The best, uh, I threw the boxing shorts they gave me. I threw the shirt. I threw the jacket out. Actually, I gave the jacket to a homeless guy. This is pretty funny. So one night I'm walking Lois. Uh, 
in my, uh, I think I had shorts on in my roast battle hoodie. And, uh, you know, had my name on it and stuff. So it was kind of cool. Um, and then I'm crossing the street and I see this homeless guy in the bushes just shivering. Like it was really cold that night. Cold for Los Angeles. So I took off my hoodie and I gave it to him because I, you know, fucked that show and Jeff. And uh, the next night I walked by and he's taking a shit, wiping his ass right with Jeff Ross's name in the shirt. So that made me feel good. I'm not watching WrestleMania, Kinsella. I'm an AEW guy. I don't go out to eat with any comics from the store uh, that much. I mean, have I ever gone out to eat with comics after the store? Yes. Joe Maurice, Renee Lancaster. But, uh, well, I mean, you know, I, I can't tell Ty who he thinks is funny, you know, so. Um, but. You know, when you're going to take on Rogan and, you know, because, you know, basically Ty said Adam sucks as a booker. Now I'm very good friends with Adam. I disagree that he sucks as a booker. But, you know, full disclosure, Adam was the one who passed. I was the first person passed under Adam with Candace Thompson. But by saying Adam sucks as a booker, you're, you're saying Rogan sucks for hiring him. And, you know, Going after Kim and Sarah, that's you know that's Ty's brand. You know, I'll give him this. He mentions names. I mean, I'll I'll, I'll give him that. Most people would not mention names. They'd be like, "Well, these two people suck." He he says their names. So, but I got my you know I don't worry about what other people say, what other people talk about. Um, you know, that's those are his opinions, and like you know, I can't say he's right or wrong. You know. Oh, that's cool, ACDC. Uh, uh, no street doo-doos so far. Did you see Kazari taking off the ice today? No, I did not. I saw my friend Bokanji Imama take on uh, Curtis McDermott in a pretty short but spirited fight. Wow, that's amazing. Was Malkin at the White House. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he was delivering a message from Putin. Pooty poot. All right, we're going to have five more minutes, guys, on a Saturday night, so... And then I got to watch Collision and hockey and work out, get ready for my set at the comedy store. Is Jerry the Ice Guy still alive? I don't know. That is a one reference, Peter Chicken Man Brennan, I don't get. I have no knowledge as to who Jerry the Ice Guy is. Um, so I, I don't know. But uh, I was at Penn's game, but the Pirates across the street won in 11 innings. I was slightly jelly. I bet you do. Uh, no, I don't really do any jokes on Hunter Biden. I know, 99 Genie, you know, just popping in for a late drive-by joke. Um, 99 cent stores are closing all their um, stores, so where am I going to get my condoms now? Pew! Um... Dr. Jerry Gelber is alive. The great Jerry Gelber is alive. That can be confirmed. Better half of Laney Gelber, mother of the great Dean Gelber, the manager of the comedy store in the dark ages. But Tommy Morris is the talent coordinator. I mean... Jerry Gelber's alive. I, I didn't know what the ice guy meant. Uh, Penguins game was amazing. I had to listen on radio. Um, Sarah Saran rap. Uh, Clark who? I don't know who you're talking about. Was... Uh, who knows? Maybe Dr. Nova was part of the Dean 15. Uh, yeah, I don't know uh, it's, if it's the same Jerry Gelber. I, we got a few more minutes left. Oh, I thought you meant uh, a comic named Clark. I thought you meant Clark Griswold or you know Clark Gillies or, I don't know, um, Lenny Clark, a great Boston comic, I believe. So, uh, thank you guys for coming in tonight. We got a nice, friendly group in here. Uh, I've never been to California, 
But how do you know so much about the comedy store, Dr. Nova? That could be a ruse. And I see you and the chicken man asking questions very close from each other in the stream. So before we end the stream, let me thank the tippas tonight. The fan funders, Peter Chicken Man, Brennan, Ambrose Burnside, my lost interest, and the great Ross Incognito. You guys are cool. What about Jerry Lee Lewis? Or oh, I've never met Jerry Lee Lewis. Um, Dick Clark, yeah, maybe uh, he's doing a pop-in before me at the comedy store tonight. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy your Saturday night. I listen to a lot of Danish and O'Neill, Boner City, Mike Black, and I have a spongy memory. I am I believe I've been on all those. I have not been on the Mike Black show, but we could probably have a more than semi-intelligent conversation about RoboCop. Uh, Steve Parley, Earl, you are watching The Rock Roman Tag tonight. I am not. I am not watching... Uh, WWE, I am AEW for life, brother. I just not, uh, I don't know. I know The Rock storyline's a real hot one, but I just, um, oh, okay. Yeah, me and Mike have had several discussions about Giant Robot. This is Giant Robot right here. I had an ex-girlfriend get me this for a birthday. I won't say uh, which ex-girlfriend. This is giant robot. Giant robot. Thank you very much. Chandler, thank you very much. I just doxed her. But it is a very cool gift. See, I can be nice and talk about an ex. Can you do your Adam from MLC before you end the stream? You know, because you asked, hold on. Gina, plug my shit. That's me and my mama and my little Snoopy. All right, hold on. Since Adam had headphones on yesterday, giant robot all day. And here's my impression of uh, Adam Boschetti. Doc Willis, get out of town, Peter Chicken Man Brennan. Uh, Adam was always good to me, always very nice to me. So, uh, you know, but it's not like he's leaving the show because he doesn't like Kevin. You know, he's got a new job. You know, you got to make money in this world. Uh, let me tell you, man, I should do a stream of me sleeping. I'd probably make some good money. 
Johnny Sacco and his flying robot. A great, that's one of my favorite. That was probably the first TV show I ever watched. You know, um, uh, Guillotine was a great bad guy. And I'm surprised they haven't remade Giant Robot. I mean, if you think about it, it's a great idea that, you know, a watch is lost somewhere in the forest. Whoever grabs the watch first and speaks into it controls Giant Robot. I cry at the end of Giant Robot when he takes the Emperor Guillotine into space. We'll reenact that scene. And then he, the meteor hits him and little Johnny Sacco's dying or crying. And uh, Buckethead from Guns N' Roses is apparently a gigantic giant robot fan. So, uh, once again, shout out to my ex-girlfriend, Chandler. Follow her uh, on uh, all social media. Uh, we don't talk anymore, but that's another podcast. She gave me this. No, uh, I tell you what makes me cry. If you put it on that my TV screen right now, I would cry. Um, Giant Robot, the ending of Giant Robot. By the way, the uh, the Gargoyle Gang. Um, they were like, if you watch the Gargoyle Gang of Johnny Sacco's Giant Robot, they would like would do the Nazi salute to each other. So I don't know. Uh, maybe Japan wasn't hip on. Uh, well, I don't know if she is, Jeannie. I don't, we don't talk anymore. So, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm sure she is. She's definitely talented enough to do that. Um, so, what's up, Daddy Man? Stagwar, I'm about to end the stream, baby doll. Um, hit the like button. Hit the like button. Um, Major League with Charlie Sheen is a real curtain jerker. Um, I would say what makes me cry is the end of Giant Robot, the end of Son of Godzilla. When baby Godzilla and Godzilla are walking off into the snow after battling that three-headed monster. Um, I think the end uh, of uh, Brian's song with uh, Billy D. Williams and James Kahn makes me cry all the time. Um, let me see. That's about it. That's all. Do you think Golden Artist, etc. regrets dropping Stuttering John? I mean, you know, I mean, what a roster of clients they had. Stuttering John and Ron Jeremy. What the, what the, what the. It hit, if I hit the like button anymore, I'll finish. I, you know, you guys in stream, man, you got to take some diction lessons. I, If I hit the like button anymore, I'll finish. Oh, I see what you're saying. Did you cry during the crying game when you saw the lady at a huge hog? Yeah, that was like, I, I cried at the end of Philadelphia. Pew! Is this the guy headlining Hackamania? Ja oh, wait, do we have our first troll in the stream? Jasmine Havens. I'm not headlining Hackamania. I'm in Hackamania. But welcome to the stream, Jasmine. I tell you what, since you're new to the stream, I'll do another five minutes. Let me put my visor on. I don't know the lineups. But I don't know really how many comics are on Hackamania, to be honest with you. I mean, Carl's not a comic. So I don't see him doing stand-up. Uh, Tukey's not a stand-up. So I don't see him doing stand-up. So really, the only stand-ups on the show are me, Melton, Dixon, and uh, Ray. Now, I believe hey, we got some women in the stream. I'll, I'll definitely do a few more minutes now that we've got Jasmine and Brittany. Uh, you know, I think Alex Kool-Aid Ansel is on Hackamania. He's not on the flyer, but, um, uh, you know, he's a very funny comic. I believe Adam Dominguez, a local Vegas comic, might be on the show as well. So uh, I don't know what Tukey does, to be honest with you. I've never... I, I might have been on one episode, maybe uh, Insufferable Bastards when he was on it. Um, Dagmar's brother. Well, that's a deep, that's a deep 
reference for the comedy store freaks in the room. Uh, Dagmar Monday, a uh, legendary open mic comic with uh, gigantic breast. Um, I haven't seen her in a hot minute. I think last I saw her, she was walking to her apartment with the great one. You guys want to drop open mic legends from the comedy store. No one's brought up the great one. You guys are all pretenders. Waver, we go way back. Uh, do I know you, Waver? I dox yourself if you feel like it. Or if you like to lurk in the shadows, that's fine too. Jasmine, did we lose you already? That's all right if we did. I'll still go to 115. So we've got exactly five minutes for you guys to get your. Um, Why, well, you know, I, I do have, I am headlining the comedy store tonight. That probably would qualify me to headline Hackamania. But, uh, it, you know, it ain't my festival. So, was Blue Iris a gentle lover? I have no idea. What's more impressive? Dagmar Stitz or Robert William Epervias Hogg? Uh, I think Bob did have a big dick, to be honest with you. I always stop poking out in the green suit. Another uh, comedy store legend uh, that has recently passed away, I believe about a year ago, if I'm not mistaken. Right around the same time as Sam, the Armenian comedian. Um, so, uh, hey, let's get the 50 likes in the next five minutes. Let's have some fun. And uh, so, yes, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be a terribly long stand-up show at Hackamania if I'm not um, mistaken. Unless, you know, new comics are uh, added that I, I don't know of. Anything better than Dante Does Dallas? I... I um, I, I'm not sure what that's referencing, Chicken Man. Uh, Dr. Nova, hmm, right after Peter Chicken Man Brennan, hmm. Didn't Dagmar also have enormous swollen ankles? How the hell would I know that? What am I, Dagmar's uh, doctor? Come on, you guys are OOC. Uh, we got three minutes left before Daddy Man's Saturday night gets going. Melton would be lucky to have Earl at his show. Well, he will at uh, the end of uh, May, I believe. Um, and once again, the discount code, if you want to go to Hackamania, is simply Earl. And I've heard some people say, well, it's a bringer show. You're trying to get people to uh, come to the show so you get paid. Well, yeah, that's a comedy show. I've got probably 15 friends coming tonight. Now, they're getting in on the guest list, but, you know, I get a few bucks out of them coming. Um, oh, no, that was Fat James. That was Fat James, Dr. Nova. Fat James, I was just talking about him tonight. Uh, is the only guy I um, know who had bone cancer and got fatter. I mean, uh, AFC North football predictions. Well, the Steelers will be a very interesting team to watch. Uh, How's Russell Wilson playing a new system? Uh, does Justin Fields, like, you know, how does he play in a new system? You know, how, how are they without Deontay Johnson? Because now you could probably double George Pickens a little bit more. Uh, unless the Steelers end up with that receiver from the 49ers, which that's the scuttlebutt. So I don't know. I'll have to get back to you on that one, Ross. I mean, the Steelers, I think, are either going to be much better or worse. Um What's your? Uh, I'm in Ohio. What's your favorite club here? Um, I've never played Cleveland, Ohio. I know Hilarities, I think, is it? Um, it seems to be one people like. Did you get a new car yet? Uh, May 22nd is when my lease is up. Better comic. Barry, uh, David Banks or Barry Diamond? I don't know who David Banks is, but, you know, Barry Diamond, I, I, did, I did a show with him in the belly room a couple of years ago, and he was complaining to me about why he doesn't get spots anymore. I'm like, bro, you're singing walking to Memphis or all the way to Memphis. That's your closer. Get the fuck out of here, man. Come on. All right, we got one more minute, guys. One minute left in the final period of the Earl verse. One minute left in the... Earl Verso, get those streams and super chats flowing, baby. So, um, I mean, Barry Diamond had a nice run in the, uh, what was it, um, bachelor party. But he got lucky with that because I believe there was another comic 
I think a Cuban comic or something had the gig and then he, he left or something. Did Boone ever steal your cell phone? No, but he did steal David Taylor's iPod and then tried to sell it to him. Uh, pew, 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 pew. Uh, I thought Jason Washington was a stone cold pimp. Um, sorry about that, Staguar. You know, I did a lot of moving parts with the stream the other day. You know, people were having sound issues, or, or I think it might have been people just fucking with me. Because uh, that's, you know, sometimes people think it's funny if they fuck with me in the stream and then I restart it and then I lose all my momentum. I mean, I don't know who would do, do that to me, but, you know, we got a couple trolls out there. What happened to Jasmine? She asked the question, I answered it, and then we never heard from her again. So I'm not sure uh, what that was about. Maybe she was just a drive-by troll. I don't know. Is this the guy? Why pe people keep saying I'm headlining Hackamania? I have not been told that at all. So you see Tim Dillon in movies someday. If not, who's the next comic destined for movies? Um, I like Ron Taylor. I had to follow him the other night at the store. He was killing it. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, that's so weird, though, because I wasn't... Nothing is different today than yesterday. So, uh, I, I mean, I could see Tim Dillon as like a Chris Farley type in movies, you know. But, you know, he makes so much money with uh, touring and Patreon. Why the fuck would you be on a movie set for 16 hours a day? Unless it was uh, a gigantic deal. I heard you signed a residency at Hackamania. I don't know if I would do a residency, but that is good money. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, I think I've had sound issues maybe twice in three months. I know that people uh, yesterday, a bunch of people were saying it. So, um, you know, I restarted the whole system and it, that seems to have taken care of whatever issues were from yesterday. Uh, thank you, Dr. Nova, for that. Hey, let's get the 50 likes and then we'll call the stream. So, um you know, 26 people in here, we can get six more likes. But uh, let me thank the tippers one more time before we end the chat for tonight. Uh, Peter Chicken Man Brennan, Ambrose Burnside, My Lost Interest, and the great Ross Incognito. Thank you very much. You know, we're just the little stream that could. Uh, I'm looking at a Bronco right now. Bronco has a great... Um, Thank you, uh, Brittany. Uh, a version of the their new Bronco that looks like the old Bronco. Uh, so thank you, Waver. I, you know, I don't. I never look at the lineups at the comedy store, so I just show up around eleven thirty in case someone doesn't show up, and I do my time and I just leave. Well, this Bronco looks really cool because it looks like a seventies uh, uh, Bronco, but it's a twenty twenty four Bronco. Uh, yeah, that is interesting, Dr. Nova. Or it's only gay if you swallow. Pew! So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I had an argument, though, you know, when it's been rumored that David Lee Roth has been with men, and my friend was like, that's gay, man. He's a panini. Uh, and I'm like, I don't think that's gay, man. And he's like, what do you mean, man? Like, you know, when you, uh, sleep with thousands of women like David Lee Roth did in the 70s and early 80s, and then you want a dick, that's not gay. That's boredom. Now, if you slept with one woman and then you want the, the hot dog heaven, that's pretty gay. But you know, That's Liberace style. All right, we'll go to one minute. We'll go to one hour and 20 minutes. So you got a minute and a half to get the last minute questions in. Or the trolls, you know, come on in. The water's fine here. Water's warm here in the uh, Earlburst stream. And then we're going to try and do a stream tomorrow night, Sunday night, 5 p.m. Uh, I think a gay guy would kill it in a hot dog eating contest. 20 in the mouth, 20 in the ass. Hello! Uh, no, no, I, no I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you, uh, random guy. But I don't know where the sound issues came from. Like, I literally have not done anything different from yesterday to today. So, um, 
you know, I just, I guess I'll have to put up with that. My Wi-Fi was good yesterday. So, uh, yes, you know, I, I like to keep it nice in the 30 seconds left, guys. I'm just going to hit end stream. There'll be no plugging or anything. It's just the minute it hits one hour and 20 minutes, I gone. Uh, Peter Chicken Man Brennan has Polly a bit at the store lately. I've not seen him. Earl, I'm glad you committed to Hackamania. You're the biggest person to let everyone make the same amount of money. Have a great night, Earl. I love you guys. Ten more seconds. Uh, you know, thank you for the likes and the shares and the retreats and the discords. We got three, two, one. I'm gone.